talk about your desktop. This is considered your desktop area. It's made up of the menu bar at the top, the desktop area, and down at the bottom is called your dock. This is where most of your apps live. You can have your dock permanently up or you can have it hidden. With a laptop, sometimes it's more convenient to have it automatically hidden because real estate is uh, at a premium when it comes to a laptop. On your desktop, you will see, like we said, these two apps. You can also see um, other apps that will be up there and you can place folders like I have this folder on my desktop. So one of the things you can do is to create a new folder. So if you go up to file and you say new folder, that's going to create a new untitled folder. Now it is already highlighted and ready for you to enter a name. So I can call this my work. Hit the return and now it's named. I can place this anywhere on this desktop that I want to put it. I would suggest that you place it to the right side of your desktop in this area right here. This is the first folder that you've made. Another easy way to make folders is to right click on your Mac. The way to right click with a Mac is to hold the control key and click. And that will give you a little drop down menu and you can see the very first uh, selection is new folder. You can also get info on something um, and these are different different options that you can use that we'll talk about later. I say new folder and there's my new folder. It creates the folder exactly where you clicked. That's the difference between just saying new folder. It will put it over here to the side somewhere versus clicking doing a right click. It will put the folder where you clicked. So it's highlighted blue. It's ready for me to name it. So I could name this O file one. And there we go. Now, if I don't like file one, if I want to rename that, I can come over the name of that, click on it and just kind of hover a little bit and click again. And there it highlights it. Okay. Another easy way to rename a file is to click on it and just type the letter R. I'm sorry, command R and that will allow you Well, it's not doing it for me. So click and highlight and then it has the name and you can change it to file 47 or whatever it is that you want to change the name. Hit the enter key and it will finish it. Then again, you can move this file anywhere you want. If you don't want this file anymore, you can get rid of it. And well, the way you delete that file is you click and click and hold and drag the file down to your dock and slide it all over the right and you will see the trash can. And if you click and if you hold the thing over the file over the trash can, it will double flash like you saw and it will actually bring up the trash can. So now when I let go, it puts it in the trash can. Okay. Now, to close this window, I can hit the red dot and it closes the window again. So now that folder is inside my trash can and you can tell the trash can has items in it because it's full. If I click on it, it opens it up and I can see the different items that I have in my trash can. When you put place things in the trash can, that doesn't mean that 
they have been permanently deleted. It just means they're in the trash can. To delete items out of the trash can, let me open it up one more time. If you want to empty the trash can, you go up to File and Finder and go to Empty Trash. And when you do empty the trash, it's going to ask you, are you sure that you want to permanently erase these files? If you're not, hit cancel. If you are, just say empty trash. And now, if I come down and check, my trash can is now empty.